what are we looking at now? Lavender. I've done quite a few plants that you would find in the garden in this particular series. You might think that's a bit odd, but I would say no, it's not odd because all plants were wild in the first place, weren't they? So that means that our garden plants are also um, quite, quite happy to be eaten. Look, there's a ladybird there. Look at that. Oh, insects just love me. Look. Oh. Anyway, a funny thing is, is I wrote a book called um, The Garden Forager, which is about exactly that idea that there's an awful lot of plants that we label as ornamental and we forget the fact that they're edible. And I started looking into different kinds of lavenders and I went online to buy culinary lavender and it was quite expensive and I found out that culinary lavender is exactly the same as the most common lavender that if you've got lavender in your garden it's probably this one angustifolia angustifolium rather and it's edible so one of my favorite things to do with lavender personally is uh, to put this into lavender shortcake biscuits really good or you get some good dark plain chocolate melt it down put in a few heads of lavender that you've ground up in a pestle and mortar and then let that reconstitute again then you can make like a kind of lovely chocolatey lavendery slab the only thing i would say is once you know that the word lavender has the same origins in latin as lavare which means to wash and lavatory then that will tell you that a little bit can go a long way. It's very, very pungent. So with lavender, less is definitely more. I'm unlikely to find lavender growing wild in Wales, where I am now. Um, I was lucky enough to go to Crete last year and it was all over the place. I kid you not. And you can tell, you know, this is a, this loves Mediterranean conditions. It's doing quite well here in Wales. So long may it last. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing to have in your garden. Oh, smells like old ladies.